Hi hair lovers, it's Grace. Um, this is my second video, first really kind of official, you know, how-to video really. Um, it's uh, it's based about, you know, going into a hairdresser's and finding the best way to have a consultation and making sure that you find the best hairdresser that suits you. Um, just because, you know, it's a really scary thing. So many hairdressers are so, you know, imposing and especially the really trendy ones because you walk in and you feel like you have to look the part before they even begin cutting your hair. So it's just a couple of handy hints on how to go in, feel comfortable and get the best that you can out of your appointment. Um, so yeah, probably the first tip that I could give would be to go off of recommendations from your friends. Um, simply because if your friend goes to a hairdresser and likes the way that they cut their hair and likes them as a person, then the chances are that you're going to as well because you and your friend obviously, um, you know, get get along and therefore the chances are that you like the same people. So definitely recommendations are brilliant, word of mouth, everything. So yeah, kind of ask your friends, see who they're going to see and then you're pretty much onto a good bet. Um, once you get into the salon, I always tend to go a little bit early, um, probably much to the annoyance of the hairstylist because if you do that and they're still with someone then it puts a bit of pressure onto them but it, there is a purpose, it's not to be a pain in the bum, it's literally to turn up so that you can see how they work on other people, um, it's a really good way of, of seeing how, how their work turns out, if you're looking at someone's hair that they've just done and you think oh that's really nice then you're going to be okay. Um, and it, it just gives you that little bit more confidence. Um, so yeah, once once you've kind of got, got that way, then yeah, it goes on to the whole consultation thing. So once they come over, this is another thing, they really have to make you feel at ease. Um, if you're sat there nervous the whole time, it's just going to be a disaster because you're not just there for a few minutes, you're there for 45 minutes to an hour if it's a cut. If it's a colour, you can be anywhere up to four hours. So you really have to feel at ease um, and you know just just the way that they are with you really their body language you know whether they're going to be listening to you is really really good you know making eye contact with you welcoming you in um, I've turned up at places and had people on their lunch break and I feel like I really shouldn't be there so it's you know that sort of thing really does count and is important um, and then once they've sat you down, made you feel at ease, hopefully got you a drink because the last thing you want to do is be sat there thirsty, um, is they've got to communicate with you. And that is a really, really big thing on consultations. It's it's how they kind of um, listen to you, how they talk to you about what you want. Kind of, you know, you have to be able to tell them as well. I always think images are a really good idea. If you bring in, if you bring in pictures from magazines or that you've printed off, offline and that's brilliant because um, it helps the stylist visualize what you are trying to get from your haircut um, so yeah print off anything that you like if you type into Google you know hair, haircuts short haircuts um, trends for 2013 anything like that then you get a whole host of things come up and then you can print off anything that you like and it doesn't have to be one picture you can take in loads of pictures you can take it you might like the bangs on one picture, bangs, fringe, whatever, um, on one picture and then you might like the shaping around the face on another one and then the length of another one. Just take anything that you think inspires you about your hair and then that in turn will give the hairdresser something to go on and then they can bring that inspiration kind of forward. So yeah, anything like that. Um, they really have to listen to you as well. If you say that you just want to trim and then you can, I've had people go in for a trim and then they've come up with it up to here. Um, they, you know, that, that's obviously that they haven't listened to you and taken on board what you've said. So make sure that they do repeat back to you. I always repeat back to my clients what they would like because I would absolutely hate it if I've miscommunicated and then, you know, I leave with them not happy with their hair. So that's really, really good. And yeah, probably the most final point from a consultation or any, just your hair appointment in general, um, is that, um, that they have confidence because if they don't have confidence then there's just absolutely no way that you're going to have confidence in them either. Um, you know, if they're standing there quite, you know, not really sure on what you're saying, just kind of, you know, that awkward pause moment where you just feel like the whole world is going on without you and nothing's being done, that, that sort of feeling is terrible. 
if they don't have confidence then just get up and leave really um, it sounds really extreme but I always say if you're not happy with just the consultation then get up and go because the only person who is going to pay the price for it will be you so um, yeah just don't don't feel self-conscious if you're not happy then get up and go um, but hopefully if they do all of those things and they are you know good at putting you at ease they listen to you and communicate well and then they're really really confident in their hairdressing then you are pretty much going to be onto a good thing the rest of it is down to personal taste so yeah look out for those things and you will be absolutely fine I'm sure of it